In the previous video, we covered the new concept of FS Logics profiles that has become available in Nerdio Manager for Enterprise version 3.0. There is an additional FS Logics feature that is part of the FS Logics configuration profile called Cloud Cache. Let's go ahead and take a look at how that works by starting out on the settings integrations page. And you can see up here on the right side, we have two profiles selected. Uh, and if we click on one of them, you will see that we have just a standard FS Logics configuration with the option to use Cloud Cache unchecked. And the same thing in this profile, the, the use Cloud Cache option is unchecked as well. If we check the Cloud Cache option, uh, this is going to automatically enable Cloud Cache on any host pools and the session hosts that are within those host pools that are using this specific FS Logics profile. Now, what is Cloud Cache? If we click on this tooltip, we'll get a link to a Microsoft document that's going to explain to us the Cloud Cache technology. But the concept behind Cloud Cache technology is that unlike the uh, VHD locations configuration, which is the default when Cloud Cache is not enabled, Cloud Cache allows you to specify multiple profile storage locations, and it will asynchronously replicate the profile and make it available in multiple storage locations at the same time. So what that means is that the uh, VHD data that is being written to the profile gets temporarily cached on the session host VM and then gets asynchronously written to uh, one or more location specified in the FS Logics configuration. So for example, if we enable this default profile, enable Cloud Cache, we can then select additional storage locations. For example, we can have an Azure Files and an Azure NetApp Files storage location, also could have a file server, uh, or multiple storage locations of the same type. And once a user logs in to a session host that is using this FS Logics profile with Cloud Cache enabled, that user's profile will be available and created in both of these locations. And the really convenient thing is that this provides a resilience and disaster recovery configuration. The reason is, that if one of these locations becomes unavailable, that session host with a FS Logic Cloud Cache configuration will automatically fail over to using a secondary or tertiary location. And you can actually specify up to four different paths. You can order them in the proper way. Um, then once you specify four, you cannot specify more. So four is the maximum. And it will create a profile file in all of these listed locations. So if one or more of them goes down, the other ones can service those requests. And then when the location that has been offline comes back online, then all of the changes that were made while that storage location was unavailable will be written and caught up on that location that became unavailable. So. FS Logics Cloud Cache is very convenient when planning out DR scenarios, when trying to distribute your session hosts across multiple regions, and we will be talking about DR configurations in future videos. However, there are some trade-offs that I do want to mention uh, when dealing with Cloud Cache, namely the fact that all of the right I.O., all of the, um, uh, you know, the, the, the right input-output operations get initially cached on the disk of the session host VM, which means that the size and, more importantly, the performance of the disk needs to be sufficiently high to be able to receive all of that I.O., um, as opposed to in the configuration without Cloud Cache when using the VHD locations option, then the profile is mounted from one location only and all of the I.O. goes directly to that storage location. So in this configuration, our storage system, so Azure Files, Azure NetApp Files, or our file server 
is the thing that's absorbing all of that I.O. and is the, the storage system that needs to be very fast with very low latency. However, when cloud cache is enabled, even if the storage system isn't fast, that's okay, as long as the local disk of the file, um, I'm sorry, of the session host VM is sufficiently fast. Practically, that means that you should be using premium SSD disks and certainly never standard HDD. In some cases, for testing scenarios of very small environments, standard SSD OS disks may be sufficient as well. But in the vast majority of cases, you're gonna to wanna to use things like premium SSD and ephemeral OS disks, because those are the fastest types of local disks available to session host VMs. And that's going to ensure that you have good performance um, when using FS Logic's cloud cache. So that is uh, this new feature that's part of FS Logic's configuration profiles. And in future videos, we are going to talk about how to use the cloud cache setting for automatic disaster recovery configuration with active, active host pools. Looking forward to seeing you in future videos.